This is the LG Gram 17 and it's quite possibly the lightest 17 inch laptop ever. Honestly, there's so many great things about this laptop. But first, let's start with the most major selling point of it, the weight. Despite being a 17 inch laptop, it weighs just about 1.35 kilograms and I guess you feel or rather you feel the lack thereof the weight because when you first pick the laptop up, you really don't expect it to be that light, especially when you take into the physical size into account. How LG achieved this weight was through the use of magnesium alloy for pretty much the entire construction. It not only helps with weight, but it also looks and feels professional to the touch, all topped off with a really minimalistic design with just the Gram logo on the lid. Yet despite that, it is also military standard 810G certified, which is honestly quite the feat for something that's thin yet fairly large and light. Now, if you are talking about performance, it does of course come with the latest 11th gen Intel Core processors, and the skill may vary depending on where you're from, but we would say that there would mainly be two different options. Either it comes equipped with the Core i5 1135G7 or the Core i7 1165G7. Our model spots the latter, and it comes with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of PCIe SSD storage. This exact specification will go for $26.99 Singapore dollars here locally, or you can expect a price tag of $17.99 US dollars if you're in the States. Like most of the other laptops we've tested running the same CPU, this comes configured in the 15W TDP variant, but do note that it only runs at 15 watts if you go into the LG control panel and set the cooling mode to performance. If it's at the default optimal setting, the CPU will cap out around 8 or 9 watts instead. For all of our tests, we of course ran the laptop on performance mode. So in Cinebench R20, you can expect roughly 1300 on the multi-core score and about 420 or so for the single core. If you are into editing videos in DaVinci Resolve, our standard 10 minute 1080p edit took just about half an hour for it to complete the render. And if you are talking about light gaming, you can expect quite playable frame rates at 1080p medium settings, with games like CSGO easily hitting past 60 frames per second, or even a more taxing game like Genshin Impact which still offers an okay 30 frames per second experience. But of course, it's not without its flaws. On the performance mode, and be it rendering or gaming, the chip will basically stay around 90 degrees Celsius all the time, which isn't really ideal. But it's not unexpected because you can barely hear the fan at all. Despite LG Control Center stating that there might be an increase in fan noise, there really isn't any at all. The fan profile on the Gram 17 is really conservative and thus the high temperatures. Switching to optimal does bring the temperatures down quite a bit with it mostly hovering in the mid 70s during load. But again, as we said earlier, it does limit the power of the CPU. It is something to note, but if we were to actually look at the laptop itself and its intended use case, well, it would be actually fine. In fact, it, it excels in it because on optimal settings, well, it would just perform great for all your everyday computing tasks down to media consumption, basic computing, web browsing, documents, all that. And on that point, let's talk about the display because it's a really great one. It's 17 inches, IPS, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 2560 by 1600 resolution, covers up to 99% DCI-P3, and gets up to about 350 nits in max brightness. It's a beautiful display, and it really is. Be it content on YouTube, editing photos or videos, or even gaming, the colors really pop and the resolution makes good use of the 17 inch display while taking into account window scaling. It was really enjoyable to use the laptop because what I'm seeing just looks great. But I do have to mention that it is glossy and it doesn't support touch, which is a little bit of a shame. I do also have to mention that the overall video consumption and movie watching experience on this laptop is a little lacking and that's everything to do with how the stereo speakers are placed on the laptop. It's down firing, but unlike most other laptops which have it on the sides, this is literally located on the bottom panel. It gets relatively loud, but it's also a little muffled. Now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure speakers could fit on the deck, especially for a 17 inch form factor. But hey, again, <laughs> I'm no expert. LG probably knows more. 
The webcam is okay, par for the cost, just like most other webcams out there. Same goes for the microphones as well. If you need a webcam, it is there and it works and it's of course in the right position. We then come to the keyboard and the trackpad and honestly, they are both pretty great to use. The power button even includes a fingerprint reader. Personally, I prefer a laptop keyboard without a numpad, but there are still some of you out there who need a numpad, and thus, those of you will definitely appreciate it more than me. Ports-wise, you are well covered. HDMI 2.0, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, 3.5mm combo jack, two standard USB 3.2 Gen 2, and even a micro SD card reader. Plenty to go around and really refreshing to see this many ports in this day and age. Finally, we come to what's arguably one of the best attributes of the Gram series from LG, and that's battery life. LG does claim up to 19 and a half hours of usage, but of course, don't expect anywhere near that. It's more around 11 to 13 hours of use, actual real world use. But even so, while it's about 7 hours of a difference compared to its claimed 19 and a half hours, 11 to 13 hours is still plenty great, and it's already far better than most of the competition out there. To summarize, the LG Gram 17 is basically just a great laptop that can handle pretty much all your everyday computing needs. But there is one major thing to take into consideration if you are looking at this laptop. Yes, a 17-inch display might be something that you really want, and this is arguably one of, if not the lightest 17-inch laptop out there. But it is still physically a 17-inch laptop. This can't fit into any of the bags that I own. So if you're looking at this laptop, do make sure that you have a bag that can fit it, or I guess you can carry it in a sleeve because arguably that's very doable given it's lightweight. But in any case, just something to take note. So that was the Gram 17 from LG. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section down below and do check out the affiliate links. If you do, thanks for the support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Till the next one. See ya.